everyone and welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Liv and you may know me on Instagram as Messy Makers Mind. I have also got designs on Ravelry, my own patterns and I also have my own website now which is fairly new and I will put it somewhere on the screen so where you can have a look at that. Um, and on my website you can actually uh, join groups. I've got some groups that we can all communicate with one another, we can all share our whips, our finished objects, things that we're working on. I also have some knit alongs for recent patterns that have come out or are launching soon and I also have a blog so you can catch up on what I am doing, what I've been up to and I also have a test knit form so if you are wanting to become a test knitter for me then you will basically get updates every time I'm calling for test knitters. So whether that is um, a hat, a scarf, a sweater, um, it could be absolutely anything, but you will still get an update and you can decide whether or not to test knit that, or if you even want to test knit, or if you don't. Um, I also have a newsletter as well that you can subscribe to. So yeah, I have a few things on there which are fairly new and I'm just trying to spice it up a little bit, get a bit more um, things out there really because I feel like just being on Instagram isn't enough. I want to try my best and spice up my knitting. So this is episode 41, so welcome. I have a finished item today. I have only, I think, one finished item, or maybe two from, from the last podcast. And one is what I am actually wearing. You can't really see the whole um, design, but this is one of my patterns and it is hopefully going to be released within the next week or so. It may even be released before this video, but um, it is really nice. I absolutely love it. It's so warm as well, like it's really warm. So if this eventually comes off, throughout the podcast it's because I have been too hot <laughs> um but yeah so you can wear it like this with the neck or you can have it like this um it's really simple as well there's no shaping involved it's literally just knitting seaming and picking up stitches that is it it is so simple um so yeah it's also got the stockinette stitch at the bottom and then we have the rib but yeah, this bit is obviously my favourite. I absolutely love this pattern. But there will be more information on this, um, either on Instagram or on my website. But this will be coming out fairly soon, so do keep a lookout. I completely forgot to mention that I actually have recently released a pattern, which is the 2x2 two two tassel scarf. And um, I don't have it on me to hand because it was a gift for my sister. I will insert a photo on the screen, but um, it's really nice, really fun, quick and easy knit. So if you do want to grab that pattern, then you can either head over to my Ravelry or my website to have the PDF download. And it also does include a video tutorial on how to make and sew the tassels. Okay, so we will start with... I don't know which one to start with. Okay, we'll start with this one. So these are my whips. Oh, got needles flying around. And I don't think I've done too much more progress on this since I last showed you. But this is what it's looking like. So I, I might have been there maybe last time. But I think I showed this on one of my... It might have been a day in my life video. I think I, sh I shared this design. But yeah, this is my own design. And there's a lot more to, like, go. <laughs> a lot more to knit. Um, and there's going to be things added on to this garment. I will keep that with you. <laughs> you can guess. I would be interested to know what you would... What you think may be going on it. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments, for sure. Because I'd like to know people's um inspiration you know what what would they do personally what would they put on it so yeah 
And the yarn I'm using is Chunky Monkey. It's this gorgeous colour and it's called Rust. It's so nice. Absolutely love it. So that's one design I'm working on. I will get with design, I will go through the designs that I'm working on first. Send another one in this big sheep project bag. I think I always link this below, well, I usually do. Uh, is this. So I was, I don't know if I mentioned this last time, but I had to restart it because my math didn't add up with the yarn, like the amount of yarn that I had. I was having like wastage of yarn, so it, it was not gonna work. But yeah, so I had to restart it, so this is what it's looking like. Um, I'm not gonna show you too much of this, because I know I, I know I have been showing it, but I kind of wanna also keep it a surprise. And the yarn that I'm using is Paint Box Yarns Cotton Arrow. And I'm using two of these minis, they're 50 grams each. And the grey is called Misty Grey. And this one is called Vintage Heather. So I'm using those two. I know I, I have, I keep showing that design, but I kind of want to keep it a sort of surprise until I've done a little bit more on it and then I can start sharing more details about that pattern. Um, and then, I think that might actually be, oh no, I have another one in here. So in here, I have, oh, a posted note. That's very handy. I have another one of my designs. So I had to also restart this one. So with designing you learn a lot. And that's what I've been having to do is learn. Just learn, learn, learn. <laughs> but never give up. That is what I try and remind myself. Um, but it is going to be a cardigan. And it will be with um it will be out probably in the summer it is a summer pattern garment it's a garment for summertime or based in summertime um yeah and the yarn i think this is karen um simply soft tweed oh, i can't remember the name it might be blue gingham or gingham blue gingham I would call it Blue Gingham, but I don't know if that's the name or if that's even how you pronounce it. But I will leave it on the screen. <laughs> okay, and then, last but least, design-wise, I'm working on this, which I shared on Instagram. I think, actually, I put up a video. I did a really funny dance on this reel that I did on Instagram. Um, it's very embarrassing, I will say. So pre-warning be prepared. Um, yeah, I will maybe put it on the screen if I can, but I don't really want to. It's very embarrassing, but it's uh, Miley Cyrus' new song, Flowers, which I really like, and I was really happy. I wanted to show my design and dance as well. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I did that. I did a reel, and I shared this design. Sleeve one is done. Sleeve 2 is still in progress, but I have made quite a bit of um, progress to be honest. I did that all last night. I've got to add in another ball of yarn as well. But yeah, this is version 1, so I'm doing two versions of this pattern. The first version is this one, which will be, it's a cropped version and it's three quarter length sleeve, so it's a lot shorter. And then the other version that I'm going to be doing is going to be basically be a little bit longer with full length sleeves and a rolled neck. Whereas this one, it's just, you can't roll it. It's just there. <laughs> so it fits perfect. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. Now I'm really upset about the yarn. I had a really big palaver with this yarn. <sighs> I nearly was in tears. <laughs> that's a bit, that's a bit dramatic. I wasn't wasn't actually crying but I was very upset because this yarn has been discontinued and 
because I'm a bit stupid, I didn't do my research before and I didn't check. Um, I just knitted this design and was basically halfway until I realised this yarn has been discontinued and I needed another ball of yarn to at least add on sleeves <laughs> or three quarter length sleeves. Um, but yeah, this is the label and there are very few, very, very few knitting shops that actually sell this yarn now. I eventually did get in touch with a yarn store and they did send me one ball because that was the last one they had in this colour which is fun. Um, but you may be able to find it and I will link some shops that have this yarn but it's a different colour. A different shade but they do some do still sell it so yeah i was very upset so then i did some research and because i was knitting uh two versions of this design i found a substitute which is this one here and it's basically exactly sort of the same in terms of the way it like the texture of the yarn and everything but it's a different name and everything. It is called, this is called King Cole um, Explorer. It's called Explorer Super Chunky. And this shade is Living Stone. I really like this colour. Because I was originally, oh, I can get it out. So I was originally going to knit version 2 in this colour. But I decided to do this one instead because I feel like it's still got the green in, just like the other the version one has. So yeah, um, but yeah, this one is called Marco Polo. But yeah, I don't know. I may knit something in it. I'm really not too sure yet. It may be another design. Who knows? Okay. Does anybody else have coffee and then forget about it and it goes stone cold? It's very sad because I literally love coffee and I've just been too busy. I forget and then I pick it up and it's cold. But... So yeah, version two is this so far the progress I have made and this is going to be the longer it's still going to be a cropped sweater but it is going to be a teeny tiny bit longer on the body and then the sleeves and then the neck is also going to be longer um, and the main reason was because I haven't I can get the yarn but for the version one it's been discontinued but I also when I tried it on I did like a a try on from what it looks like so far and I actually quite like the three quarter length sleeves. I'm vibing the three quarters. So, um, yeah. I just really hope people will want to support and, you know, like my designs. Obviously, it takes me time. It doesn't, I can't just design and it, nothing's free. <laughs> the yarn's not free. My time's not exactly free. And it just, it, it takes a while but I absolutely love doing it but I just really hope people will want to download the pattern because that goes so long way like such a long way it goes like, I wish I could tell you how much even just one download makes me happy like I see on my phone that someone's downloaded my pattern very rarely happens but when it does my heart literally I just I get this like umph of confidence in myself which just never happens never happens if you know me in person you know I have problems with <laughs> Ment mental health I have a lot of mental health things going on and when I see someone's actually looked at my pattern or even gone on my website or or just anything really it just really makes my heart happy and I cannot stress it enough on camera like, I can't explain it enough because I'm behind the camera and you know you guys are just watching this but I wish that I could tell you face to face but yeah I'm giving you virtual hugs because thank you so much 
to everyone who does support me and I really hope I can make something out of this. I really, really do. That is all I want is to design, make things for people. I want to be able to make people happy with my designs so they can knit themselves the garment and feel happy in it themselves and wear it with proud. So yeah, anyway, sorry for the cheesy lines. Okay, so I think that is now everything for what I've been working on design-wise. The other projects are patterns that have been released. So I have an order for a um, baby. So I'm knitting a baby set. I'm knitting the baby hat, the booties and the mittens. But I just finished the hat. I mean, how cute is this? Ooh. And the decreases at the top. I got this pattern online, it is free, and I will link below the website to where I found it. But I did this size, I think this is um, three to six months, I think. I might be completely wrong. And then I just started on the baby booties, which does not look like a boot. So yeah, this does not look like a boot, but it is going to be. So that's that. And then I have a sock that I'm doing for my boyfriend. I think I did was on this last podcast, but because I've been just so working on my designs at the minute, I have not really done too much progress on this but yeah just started the body anyway so that helps <laughs> and the yarn i'm using is opal opal gutenacht i think it's actually a german german one uh that's the label and the Colour is, it just says here, 9893, I think. Then this bag that I got for Christmas off my boyfriend with this super cute, I have to show you this every time because it's so cute. Little sheep. Little sheep. Progress keeper. Um, I'm knitting on another hat, which I can't remember if I was on this one last time, but I love this colour. So yeah, just knitting another ribbed beanie. I have, I think I have these on my um, Etsy and on my website if people want to buy their own, then you can get a nice hand knitted beanie and I ship worldwide as well. So that's always a good thing. But yeah, so that is that. And the yarn is from Hobbycraft. I think it's Leader of the Pack. I'll put the name on the screen. I cannot remember what the name is. <clears throat> but I'm knitting a pullover and I am um, only this far, which I think was exactly the same in the last podcast. But yeah, really nice, pretty yarn. I'm just knitting a pullover, and I will also link that pattern below. I, it is on Yarnspirations. Thank you so much for watching. Please do let me know what you're currently working on. I would love to know what is on your needles. And I hope you have an amazing day or evening, whatever, whatever time it is where you are, or time of the day. And thank you so much for watching, if you stay to the end. And I will see you guys very soon. <laughs>